If there's one business that will continue to thrive in 2024 and will even thrive better, it is the coaching business. In this video, I'm going to share with you my forecasts and how you can adapt your coaching model, style, and approach to these forecasts. My name's Lisa Mackey, and I've been a coach entrepreneur for over 20 years. And I've seen how everything has changed, evolved, and what has remained. And one thing I can tell you is that history repeats itself. And so if you're not subscribed yet to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified of every video I post that will help you build a thriving coaching business. So what I'll present to you in this video are forecasts based on something more prophetic and supernatural combined with something natural that all of us see or may be familiar with, plus the fact that history repeats itself. So if you want to hear all these forecasts, then stay with me up to the end of this video. Forecast number one, there'll be a great hunger for more substance. Well, one thing about history repeating itself is that we always rebel against the norm. When things are pretty strict, we rebel against that and we want more freedom. And so it works the other way around. And so people now are looking, maybe they know it, maybe they not, but there will be a hunger for something more substantial. I mean, look around you. There's just so much garbage. There's just so many things that are kind of doesn't make sense. I mean, forget me, forgive me for saying the word, but sometimes I see things that are just stupid. Like, what does this even mean? And I'm not talking about just the coaching industry, but everything in general. With the rise of social media and everybody who's just trying to deliver a message that doesn't have that doesn't even make sense, people are going to shift from that and they're going to look for something and things that are just more substantial or something that is more valuable. And so this is where we come in. So there are many coaches in the online space that are really seasoned, some are not, but have skills in coaching and some really have more value and some do not. And people are going to gravitate towards coaches that represent more value or give more value or have more valuable content, something that is more substantial. And yes, people are still going to want and crave for bite-sized pieces, but this is for social media. But even if they want something short and bite-sized like reels, for instance, they will be looking for something more than that. And so if you don't have anything to offer, other than all those short little videos, then you won't thrive in 2024. So what we need to do is the first phase of our, of our audience journey with us should be quick, should be bite-sized, but there has to be something more substantial that is ready for them. So if they follow us, let's just say somebody watches you on social media, you're doing a reel or maybe shorts on YouTube, that after they see you and they follow you, they'll now see something more substantial. And even with, even with just the short videos, you know, it's time to stop copying what others are doing. You know, it's, it's time to stop doing all these crazy nonsense videos. Instead, let's go straight to the point. Let's teach on our videos as coaches. Let's give them something valuable, even if it's short. Yes, again, social media is bite-sized, but then you bring them to the next level, which is more substantial. But even those bite-sized pieces should be valuable in its content. Substantial also means getting deeper. So let's stop those superficial content just to get our audience attention. We got to dive deeper. We got to go straight to the point. If you want to target their feelings because you're a life coach, then go ahead and talk about it. Go straight to the point. And the nice thing about being straight to the point is it gets the attention of people. So instead of sugarcoating our messages or maybe we're not sure whether people are going to like it or not, let's just be real and straight to the point making sure that our content is valuable and targeting specifically what we want to address in our audience. So with me, I specialize in coaching coaches. And so I can start talking about their problems directly instead of just trying, for instance, to create videos that 
make me look like I'm stress-free or because I have my systems in place, I'm traveling, everything's just easy. You know, that has been the trend for the past few years now. So let's change that. Let's adapt to this forecast that I'm seeing. And again, this is a balance of what I'm seeing prophetically and what I'm seeing in the natural. And so we got to adapt to that because this is the direction that I'm seeing. And so I'm ready for it. In fact, I've started doing it. I've started doing more substantial reels in my Instagram because that's my channel and people are actually paying more attention and they're staying longer. Forecast number two, women are going to rise up as role models. So this is now a different angle of women because in the past, We've had the Me Too movement and all of a sudden women were empowered and, you know, they were taking the role of leaders and, you know, some women are more rebellious, some are more submissive, but women definitely, definitely gained their voice in the last few years. But this time around, women are going to rise up as role models. So when I say role models, this is the character of women that is nurturing, the character of women that are that's um, geared towards being compassionate, our character as kind of like more of a motherly nature. And this is going to attract people because really there's just so much hunger and desire for love. And we see it everywhere. People are just looking for love and sometimes they manifest it in you know ways that are kind of trying to get attention. But there will be, because despite the fact that we see a lot of people who seem to care, there's a lack of genuine love and people are feeling it right now. And so women are going to rise up in their role as mothers, as nurturers, as people and beings, created beings who care for others. So this is where women is going to lead and excel. And this is really great news for us women coaches or women coach entrepreneurs because we can really lead from that perspective and we can start showing them our true nature. So it's time, my fellow coaches, fellow women coaches, to focus on this character that God has given us, the nurturing character, the loving character of women, the compassionate character of women, the sweet character of women, the women who care, and the women who will help the other person. The, we, we are emotional beings. And so this is now the time 2024 is going to be the year where we can really help others emotionally. So like me, I coach coaches and it's basically coaching coachpreneurs. So even if the focus of my coaching is more towards the business aspect, I'm definitely going to incorporate more of the emotional aspect of my coaching because I want to reach out. I want to reach out to the heart because this is what everybody needs and this is also where I can thrive as a woman myself. Another thing about women is, so these are all like natural characteristics of women in general. Another thing that is common to all of us, it's a natural characteristic, is our being perceptive. You know, women are known to have a stronger intuition and so we are perceptive beings and um, I heard somebody explain before the role of a wife. You know, the wife, the, the man's vision is, is like this. It's like a tunnel vision because they are supposed to lead. I'm talking about the role of husband and wife. They are basically the leaders in the family. That's their role, to lead the wife, to lead the kids, not to lord over them, but it's just the role of the father. And then the role of the wife is to nurture. But one thing about women, is we see, we see everything. So I remembered before hearing that when men look at other women, it's so obvious. When when women look at other men, or if they, you know, a guy catches their attention, it, they can do it without looking obvious, just because of the way we can look at things, you know, from different perspectives and different angles. And so in the same way, this is also how we see things. We are more perceptive perceptive by nature and so that is also something that we can capitalize on as women coaches another thing about us women because we are emotional beings we really have empathy so it's really time to cultivate that nature of ours 
just that empathy. And empathy is not simply understanding where the person is coming from, but as coaches and as role models at that, we definitely need to also see how we can help them um, get out of whatever rut they're in and bring them to the place where they should be. So empathy balanced with being perceptive gives us the ability to understand where they are, plus the ability to see where they should be. So it gives us more or less the, the understanding of the person's future. Okay, we, we see the person for who he or she should be. We see the person for his and her capabilities because of our ability to perceive. And so, you know, if you just leave empathy at that, we can have false compassion on people. We can just be there for them. Oh, I understand how you feel. I've been there. Again, I'm talking from the point of view of coaches because this is our job, but without the perception and we have that. So we need to capitalize on that. We need to use that with the perception or our ability to see things ahead. Then we can help that person. So instead of just saying, oh yeah, I understand, we can actually see and say, I understand. And that's not fair. That's not right for you. So this is where you should be. You know how I see you? I see you as this person and I'm going to help you get from point A to point B because this point B is what you deserve. So it just makes us better in our coaching abilities and skills and capabilities. So again, let's use our natural gifts, the gifts that God has given us to women. Let's use that natural characteristics in reaching out to our audience, in helping our audience so that we can continue to thrive and even be better as coaches and having a thriving coaching business in 2024. Forecast number three, there'll be a great desire for genuine relationships. I mean, I mentioned earlier that even if it seems like people care more these days than they used to be, a lot of these caring looks really superficial. I mean, with the rise of AI and everything is now online, you know, people are starting to look for or desire more genuine relationships. Again, they may or may not be aware of it, but this is now the time to really be genuine. This is now the time to offer genuine relationships with people because they need it. I mean, I think over the last two years, the, the rate of suicide has really gone up. I was just reading an article a few days ago of, you know, that it's really happening um, in the generation of the millennials. There's just um, a high rate of suicide and depression and people are looking for genuine relationships. And so this is where we can really play a role because as coaches, we're here not only in a business capacity, but we're here because we care for them. We want to help them. And so this is where we start offering genuine relationships, not only for our clients, but even when we are putting out content on social media or where whatever, wherever, whether you're blogging, whether you're doing a podcast, whether you're doing videos like this on YouTube, we got to make people feel that there are people like us who care for them. And we offer that genuine relationship with them. And being genuine or offering or having a genuine relationship starts by us being being authentic, being our true selves. And let me tell you something, being true doesn't mean that you're going to expose your dirty laundry. This is something I just shared with somebody not too long ago. You know, there's a big difference between, and especially as coaches, we, we have a higher role to play. You know, we are like teachers, we are role models. And so we're just not, even if we're on social media, we're not there just to make people look at us. So don't be crying. If you're a coach, don't be crying on social media just for people to know that you're genuine. I mean, I'm not stopping you from doing that. But for me, being genuine, balanced with stability is really important for other people. And, you know, this, this genuine relationships also come with people looking for genuine relationships are also looking for people they can trust. And trust and stability go hand in hand. How can you trust somebody who's not stable? You know, so if I all of a sudden just start crying on social media, talking about a fight I had with my husband. Yes, it may look authentic. Yes, it may look genuine, but it doesn't show my stability. You know, so those things are things that I can discuss with people in my inner circle, but not for the public. I mean, this is just my personal opinion. It, it's still up to you. But as I've said, we have a higher role to fulfill. We have a higher calling as coaches. And so I believe that being genuine, is being true about how you can help other people. It's not just, oh, being true, I'm just going to 
cry if I feel like crying, get mad if I feel like getting mad. You know, that's a pretty superficial type of being genuine. Being genuine is about how we feel for people and how genuine we are in serving them. And this is what the world needs right now. Forecast number four, people are going to pay more attention to real positivity. Now, I say real positivity because there is a lot of positivity going on, you know, people just talking positive things, people just laughing and giggling and partying and traveling. But people are now going to pay attention to real positivity. Again, this brings me back to stability because I cannot project real positivity if I'm not stable. If one minute I'm happy, the next minute I'm crying. One minute I'm excited, the next minute I'm angry. I'm not saying that you fake it, but what I'm saying is that real positivity should start from us. And real positivity comes from the inside out. I cannot pretend to be positive if I'm not positive on the inside. And inner positivity begins by having peace of mind. And one of the things that I always talk about is the spirit of gratitude. And this is something that has really brought peace into my life. And even in praying, sometimes we can start praying and just, you know, complaining to God. And if I even start complaining to God as my prayer, I'm going to come, come out of that prayer room feeling heavier than when I came in. But when I learned how to pray with thanksgiving, just being thankful to God for my life, just being thankful to Him for being there for me. When I start and stay in that spirit of gratitude, it really brings me peace of mind. And of course, you know, there's a lot of inner issues that sometimes we are not aware of. And these inner issues are really getting in the way of us having peace, of, of us thriving, of us feeling good about ourselves and other people. Again, it all starts from the inside out. And let me share with you a secret. When something is not working right, it is an opportunity for us to look deeper, to look internally and see what issues we need to deal with, what issues have not been resolved. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. If we really want to project true positivity so we can influence others in the same way, we got to start inside of us. And this is something that people are looking for. They're looking for real positivity, positivity, something that will remain, something that will stay, something that they will like, you know what? I want to have that. I want to have that peace. She always looks peaceful. He always looks happy. What is his secret? What is her secret? And this is what people are going to pay attention to. And so now that I've presented to you all these forecasts that, as I've said earlier, is a combination of what I see prophetically, what I see in the natural, and just history repeating itself. Because I was saying earlier as well that we normally, one thing that repeats over and over again is we rebel against the norm. And so it's time now for people to really it's not just it's not that they know it they may or may not know it but it's now there's just a shift in how they feel and what they're looking for i mean it already started and it will even escalate in the year 2024 which is what like a few weeks from now and so now that you know the forecast and you know what's going to happen again internalize everything you can watch this video again and adapt your coaching model style and approach to these changes that are going to happen. And if you're a Christian woman coach printer, I'd love to have you in a live session I'm doing on December 27, 2023, because it's 2023 as of the time I'm recording this video. So I'm going to have a live session on December 27, 2023 at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'm going to share more prophetic stuff on the breakthrough that's going to happen in 2024 and i'm going to link up in the video description your access to that live session and i'd also love to have you in my lmc insider community where i deliver valuable information that will help you build a thriving coaching business deliver it straight to your inbox every wednesday 
So you can check the video description later after watching this video so that you can access and be a part of the LMC Insider community. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell if you haven't subscribed to this channel. And please give this video a like because that's just how the algorithms work. So it will be shown to more people who need to see this video. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you at the next one.